This is a street market I found on a recent visit to Thailand's third largest city, Hat Yai. It was late in the afternoon and I went there looking for a market named Talad Sod, which was closed at the time, but outside there were quite a few street food vendors that were open, so I decided to walk around and have a look at them. There were lots of different options of food, fried chicken, generally it's between about 15 to 30 baht per yes. piece. Lots of stick food. They're generally about 10 baht per stick. This is a Thai noodle dish, Kanong Jin. It's usually between 25 and 40 baht per plate. So you get a bowl of sauce and noodles and then you go and sit down and you can help yourself to the herbs and vegetables on the table. If you want to know more about Kanong Jin, you can follow this link to check out my video here. This was a street food vendor making a Thai pork soup which is known as Goi Tiao. So there they're adding some vegetables into the basket that they dip into the hot soup to cook them. Generally at shops like this you can either sit down and eat there with a bowl or you can take it away. That then goes into a bag. along with sliced pork. And they usually also cook some pork balls and other pork bits to add to it. The lady who was waiting for it had brought her own container, so they added the soup mix to that different flavours of soup for the one that she wanted. Depending on where you buy it, this is normally between 30 to about 50 baht. Also a restaurant selling seafood. Got lots of crabs. Clams and cockles, oysters, I also had shrimps or prawns and calamari there. This guy's cooking over coals, he's got the little blower machine there blowing air onto the coals. He was cooking some sort of curry there, just added some crab. took the lid off this one, it smelled delicious. It's also got a fish barbecuing next to it there. We added an egg. And then some vegetables. Stir fried it for a few seconds. Probably expect to pay anywhere between 60 to 150 baht for a seafood dish like this, depending on the size of it. This is pretty big. That one was done. That's a Muslim chicken dish known as Khao Muk Gai. It's really tasty and not very spicy. So I got to the end of where the street food vendors were and I discovered a huge street market selling all sorts of meats and seafood and vegetables so I decided to go for a walk there and it turned out to be the biggest street market that I've ever seen. Lots of people lining both sides of the road with all sorts of food products. And also lots of street food there. This shop's got lots of curries, omelettes. Might expect to pay 30 to 50 baht for a takeaway curry like that. And about 20 baht for an omelette. Someone's restaurant on the move there. limes being delivered. Must have been tons and tons of fruit and vegetables and other food products here. 
really was huge. I think it stretched for about a kilometre and a half. People buying up for their restaurants and home. This little area, they seem to specialise in pork. These people chopping up the pork there. I think this guy here was cutting up pork intestine. Again, lots of vegetables and garlic and all sorts of herbs there. It was a really busy road and the market probably didn't help the flow of traffic either. <laughs> Not something you see every day in a western country. That he seemed to be pretty good with an axe. <laughs> this lady here is making Buddhist flower arrangements. People sew the flowers together by hand and they're used for Buddhist ceremonies and for good luck and stuff. So much food. Shops seem to specialise in spices and garlic and chilli. There were stink beans there which are really nice in curries. So many different types of chilli there. Again more fried chicken. Fried chicken is really tasty. Barbecue chicken. Lots of different Thai desserts there. <laughs> Ladies were having a bit of a laugh asking if one of them was beautiful, which I agreed with. <laughs> said the lady here wasn't beautiful, which I didn't agree with. Had a bit of a chuckle about it. They're selling some soups and curries. Again, lots of different Thai desserts there. Famous Thai fruit durian, like whole in pieces. More Thai desserts there, you'd expect to pay about 20 baht for a little bag like that or a container like that generally. And then lots of different fruit. Green oranges, some mango steams at the front, grapes at the back, rambutans, another dessert shop. As you can see the desserts are really popular. And then lots of curries at this shop as well. you'd expect to pay anywhere from 30 to 50 baht for a bag. Hello, hello. Hello, what come? Clam curry there. I think that was a chicken fig salad, that white one. Fruits, Thai oranges at the front, which are green, rose apples. Lychees, custard apples, watermelon, apples, guavas on the left, and rambutans there. This lady was making some sort of pancake things.
she spreads the mix over the cooking tray. And then covers it to cook. Once they're cooked, she was adding some sort of coconut and sugar mix to those. She's also got fried quail eggs there for sale, which are really yummy as well. I expect to pay about 20 baht for those quail eggs and probably about 10 baht for the pancakes. So it's something I bought here, which is a barbecued squid, which are really yummy. This one's been stuffed with squid eggs. So I picked the one I wanted. The lady heated it on the barbecue and she's added sauce to it. cost me 30 baht. It's a barbecued sweet which is rice wrapped in banana leaves. There's different flavours of that, some with banana inside, some with coconut flavouring. This was another curry shop with a huge range of curries. People just stop on their motorbike and get a takeaway from shops like that. Some Thai mushrooms, They're really tasty and there's lots of different sorts. There's even a little shop selling gasoline. While this market was open, there were guys down the road setting up for the night market for later on. Really was a huge market. Each time I get to the end of the street, the market would continue on around the corner down the next road. In this area here, the shops mainly seem to specialise in vegetables and fish and seafood. Lots of crabs there. Vegetables. Fish and assorted seafoods there. And there are pork shops on this side of the road here. Again, they seem to be picking out the good bits of the pork intestines here. Pork intestines are pretty popular in Thailand. Lots of shrimps, pork ears and noses. Pork intestines, kitchen cooking equipment. More crabs, fish, prawns, more fish. Was chopping up chickens. Again, fish and prawns. Not sure what that guy had on his bike. Lots of eggs, curry pastes, and again, lots of shrimps, calamari. Live fish there, as well as other fish. A couple of catfish. Pickled vegetables. There was a big bag of frogs that were scum. Shoot some other vegetables there. Again, lots of chicken being chopped up here. Fish. Right, I can seem to 
go on forever and ever. Perhaps another shellfish. Catfish. People in Thailand are generally pretty friendly. So calamari, different sizes. You can see this market stretches on down that road there as well. Said each time I thought I got to the end of it and discovered it kept on going. It really was huge. More catfish back there, another fish. This lady was also cutting up pork. Just chopping up pork liver there. Sea snails, mussel meat, clams, bigger clams, they're known as Venus clams or sweet clam in Thailand. Shop over here was scaling and filleting bigger fish. shrimps, shallots and garlic and chilies and stuff. Lots of limes there. More pork. Muscle and clam meat. Some beef here. Not sure which part of the beef this is here, but it seems to be pretty popular because people are always selling it. Got a friendly guy there, buying limes. Seafood there. Prawns, fish. Not sure what this was, some sort of seaweed. Never seen it before. They showed me it's edible though. Good, good. And that it's delicious. You Australia. Australia. <laughs> More shrimps. <laughs> different sizes, different prices. Generally at markets like this you pay between 180 baht for the small ones per kilo. Big ones which are huge are up to about a thousand baht per kilogram. <laughs> Catfish there. Calamari. So that's a bit of a walk around a street market in Thailand. Thanks for watching.